Hello everyone, good morning slash afternoon. I don't have much time for chit chat here. I am just about running late. Not quite though, don't worry. <laughs> but I have good lighting, I wanna film today. I actually did just film a get ready with me. I know my eye makeup is kind of a disaster, <laughs> but if you wanna go watch that, that should be up either already or in the near future. So, I've got a lip product to test out with you all today. This is the Makeup Forever Aqua Rouge Waterproof Liquid Lip Color. You know, these are super on trend right now and I figure I gotta be what my soul tells me to be, which is a Pokemon Lipstick Master. Yes, a combination of the two. So I gotta try them all. But before I test this bad boy out, let's hop onto Sephora really quick and read all about the product to make sure I am applying it correctly. Like I said, this is the Makeup Forever Aqua Rouge. It is $24 and it comes in 15 different shades. I personally got the color number two, Rosewood. This is a non-stop liquid lip color with the intense, long-lasting hold of a lip stain and the eye-catching shine of a gloss. Basically there's a bunch of science involved that makes the color lock onto the lips for a waterproof, smudge-proof result that will not transfer or fade. Its intensely pigmented formula provides immediate opaque color with a matte texture and its non-sticky clear top coat adds an extreme lacquered finish. So yeah, it's a two-step application. You apply the lip color and then you're going to evenly put the clear top coat over with the brush and yeah. <laughs> I'm struggling right now, you guys. I'm struggling. Ooh, apparently this was formulated for the Parisian Aquatic Ballet. So it was tested underwater for five hours. That's intense. I'm gonna be putting this to the test here. I guess I'm excited as I always am with lip products. Let's zoom in and we'll put this on. There you go. We've got the color on the one end and then the gloss on the other. Obviously I'm gonna put the color on first. This really just looks like a nice kind of a mauve-y, mauve, -y, mauve -y beige, I guess, kind of. Mm, the smell's not my favorite, but it's also not the worst. It's like synthetic fruity, I guess. Ooh. It feels super soft. Like the softest, ooh. Oh my gosh, you guys. <laughs> oh man, so that's a darker color than I thought it was gonna be, but maybe that's just, that was probably my fault. Product was kind of covering up the doe foot applicator, but it is a very intensely slanted cut doe foot there, but this went on so smooth, so soft. Oh my gosh. Oh, well, now it's drying down, but it felt like such a luxurious balm going on, and here I can kind of see I messed up a little bit. Oh, that was a mistake, wasn't it? Oh, well! <laughs> but yeah, I wish I could describe the texture, but it really is just like very soft, very plush, almost like the fresh sugar lip balms going on, and it's dry already. Oh my gosh. That's incredible. Okay, so I just reapplied on this half, but I've really, I've gotta get going. I can't, uh, I have to wait, but okay. So this half is gonna transfer a little bit. It's going to, cause it's not dry yet, but the rest of it <laughs> should be transfer proof. Yeah, all right. See, that was from the bad side of my lip, but see that? Beauteous. Go ahead and put this gloss on. It actually doesn't smell like much of anything. It just, it's a little brush applicator here. And you know, honestly, at least right now, just this part, it doesn't feel drying at all. It honestly just feels like I have absolutely nothing on my lips. I mean, you can see now that I even have that on, even on the applicator, the color did not transfer hardly at all. There's just a couple little flecks on there. Wow. And it is. It's very comfortable. It's not sticky at all. It's just very lightweight. Very... Oh my gosh, you guys. This feels amazing. It feels really good. <laughs> I mean, it doesn't feel like any better than any other lipstick, but like for this kind of a formula, I'm kind of impressed. All right, so there it is from far away. It looks a lot like darker of a brown, I feel like, than this. This looks very pink and rosy, and this looks very brown. I still like the color on me. I think it looks nice, and like I said, it really, 
if I'm not like touching my lips together, it doesn't feel like I have anything on my lips. My lips just feel very comfortable, hydrated, like good. So I guess we'll just see how this wears throughout the day. As of right now, I'm super excited about it. I'm just going to pick one of my friends up from the airport and bring her home. And I don't know what the rest of the day will bring. We shall see. I'm hoping to be able to hang out with her for a bit. Yeah, as always, I will be taking you all along with me for my day here. We will see how this performs, how it holds up. And I will just check in with you all whenever I feel like I need to check in with you next. Probably before slash after lunch slash dinner. I don't know how that's going to go, but... <laughs> Either way, I will be checking in with you all very soon, so I'll see you then. Bye! to two in the morning. Overall, just a really, really good day getting to see Katie. And she, so sweet, she brought me a gift. I believe she said they were from Prague when she was in Prague. These little cat earrings, they're so sweet. So I was wearing those all night tonight. And then also an assortment of German chocolate, which I know you can find Rittersport here in the States, but they don't use the same chocolate. Like, it's just, it's on a whole nother level, so. I've got a bunch of rare sport that should probably last me weeks, but it's probably gonna last me like a day and a half. So I'm excited about that. We went to see a play that her dad was in, uh, and we decorated her Christmas tree and everything, and we helped her mom make some Christmas cookies, and it was just, it was a good day. It was really good. My makeup is an absolute mess because my contacts have been bugging me all day. It was such a bad idea to wear these. My eyes are so irritated, so my makeup is just like, kind of like my soul. But anyways, lipstick. You guys, I think overall, I am pretty darn impressed with these lipsticks, or, well, this lipstick. <laughs> the lasting power, shoot. It definitely did fade a bit during dinner. I had some spaghetti. You do not want to reapply this over itself. Like I showed in that clip, it just gets really clumpy and disgusting and like curdled almost. But if you just wipe it off, which was easy enough for me to do, you just re-put it on. And I've just been drinking water otherwise and uh, pretty dang good for what, six or seven hours? Like, it did great. Like, 
what? That's incredible. It's a really comfortable formula. I would say my lips felt really hydrated and everything up until about maybe an hour, hour and a half ago, which makes me curious if I can just put a chapstick over it. I mean, it didn't transfer or anything, but yeah, it does start to break it down if you do that. In any case, I'm sure you can just reapply the gloss on top of it. I just don't feel like wasting the gloss right now when I'm just gonna take all my makeup off after I'm done filming this. The formula is really flexible, it's really comfortable, it really did not budge for the most part, and shoot, I'm just, I'm so impressed that a color this rich can last in pigment this long on my lips. It's really impressive. So I would say if you're interested in any of these colors, definitely a thumbs up. This did wonderfully. Specifically, if you're planning on being in an aqua ballet, you might want to consider one of these. I hear they're good for that. Hope you all enjoyed coming along with me and seeing how this lipstick held up. If you did enjoy the video, if you found it helpful, I would really appreciate a thumbs up down below. I guess, as always, I just hope you guys are all doing well, and until next time, just stay well until then. Bye!